Hey guys, this is Sandra here and today I'm going to an event that's organized by my makeup school and Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna see the head of the national Charlotte Tilbury team, I'm pretty sure that's her title, Kelly Dawn, doing a demo and then talking us through the newest Charlotte Tilbury products and then we also have an opportunity to to purchase some products in the day with some discount which is always exciting and I'm gonna show you how I do this look so if you would like to see how I achieve this quite glowy but still fairly easy look then please keep on watching and I will see you later bye bye enjoy all right guys as I'm sure I already mentioned in the intro before we're gonna get ready for an event today I'm going to a Charlotte Tilbury event and I have about an hour to get ready for so we have to be rather speedy also under my eyes I just have the Almis Pro Collagen Hydro Gel Eye Mask and we're gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion this is the original one so the event I'm going to today is by Charlotte Tilbury and I go to these events every once in a while they are usually organized by my makeup school well this one is anyway and Basically, you have one of the brand's lead makeup artist, in this case, Kelly Dawn, who's doing a demo and talks you through all about the newest products that Charlotte has. And you just can buy some of these products at a discounted price at the end of the masterclass. Um, I have a discount with the brand anyway, but it's quite nice for learning new tips and tricks from other makeup artists and that's why I love these events because they always have some useful tips and you know you can always learn more and also you can use a product your own way but everyone else has a different way of using those products sorry these keep slipping maybe this was not the best idea but never mind so they all have a different way of using products and it's quite interesting to see and you might find a new technique that you love at the end of the day so that's why I really love those events now let's try it again with setting it with the shade it's designer and hopefully it's not gonna bunch up this time okay success thank god it's interesting because this eyeshadow primer is quite the same texture as the bomb when I just tried a second ago but never mind now since it's a Charlotte Tilbury event I will try to use um, as many Charlotte Tilbury items today as I can in my makeup look um, I have quite a few but I don't have any eyeshadows well I do a single but not a palette and I want a bit more of a fresh look than that one single eyeshadow that I have that's more like a like a greeny teal sort of color it's called snow leopard and it's a beautiful color but that's just not what I want to go with today next I'm gonna go in with the shade um, it's cashmere which is this brownie color and a bigger fluffy brush I'm gonna use the blank canvas cosmetics e42 and blend it into my crease. It's just a lovely warm brown color. I actually have to move you a little bit. There you go, so you can see a bit more. And it's not gonna be anything really hard to do, but you know, it's still a masterclass with loads of people around who love makeup, so you want to look good and you want to make an effort, don't you? To deepen it up a bit, I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and just a tiny bit of the shade O that's rich, which is this deep, oops, there we go, that, which is that deep burgundy color and I'm just gonna use the smallest touch of it. I don't want too much, just enough to deepen it up. And I can always go back in with the bigger brush use that to blend it out and just make it really diffused it's 
a shame that it's losing a bit of that more burgundy tint as you blend it out, it really is. That would be so beautiful. You know what, I might take these off before time because they start to really annoy me. Really annoy me. I thought this can give a nice little boost to my eyes before I go but they are just I think I will learn my lesson. Let me just clean up the shape quickly. Now I'm gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow just to do like a sort of like a half cut crease. And I'm just gonna use the rose gold shade from the Maybelline Color Tattoo. As I want to make it quite pinky. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Princess Cut on a flat shader brush and apply it on top. And if I have to, I can go back in with the small fluffy brush I used before and then deepen up the outer corner again. I have to say it turned out a bit deeper than I wanted to. But what can you do? Now I'm just gonna draw the tiniest, tiniest line to my lash line, no wing, nothing, it just to make it appear thicker. And I'm using a dark brown gel for that, not even a black. Just for a bit more definition, nothing else. Now I can zoom you out and we can move into the face. All right, so to prime, I'm gonna use my Cover FX, um, what is it called, blurring primer. And I really like this thing, there's barely anything left in my little tub. And I just apply it, oh, I just dropped some on my leg. I just apply this with my fingers. Just massage it in. And it does a wonderful job of filling up my pores and making sure that everything applies on top of this seamlessly. Oh, and there's already some glitter falling out from this eyeshadow. Great. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have a glitter face today from this event and that'll just have to be okay. Thank goodness I'm not going for a job interview, huh? That might be catastrophic. Oh yes, because in some of these events, like tonight, you can actually apply. They are recruiting. Um, quite a lot of people from my school are working there. Thank goodness I'm not going for a job interview. And um, I applied actually to Charlotte Tilbury before. And they called me back in. I went to an interview, I did a makeup, but unfortunately I didn't get selected that time. But that's okay. I'm working for another company now and that's all good. I still love her products though, not everything, but quite a lot of her products I still love and there are a few bits that I want to buy tonight and obviously there will be a whole video of that um, sometime soon. For my foundation, I'm mixing the Becca Aquiluminous foundation with the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury oh my goodness, can't talk when I'm in a hurry, um, Light Wonder. Uh, I love both of these foundations and the reason why I'm not using the Light Wonder by itself, where is my sponge? I'm a mess today. Oh, there it is. The reason why I'm not using the Charlotte Tilbury one by itself is because it's not dark enough for me at the moment. So I'm just darkening it up a bit with the Becca one. They are really, really similar. They are both really light coverage, apply well, 
have more of a dewy finish. I would say though the Charlotte Tilbury one has a bit more coverage than the Becca one, I feel. And it's slightly, slightly less dewy, just a touch less dewy than the Becca. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for, they can both be a wonderful option. I like them both for different occasions. Okay, to brighten under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector, just to brighten the area a bit. You can actually see the difference. Whoopsie, that was my nose. And I know I should use my ring finger, but I try to be quick and I can be quick for my life with my ring finger, so I'm just still trying to be quite gentle. I find that these sort of products, well, these sort of products always work better with the fingers. Now, if you feel like it's too bright, you can always set it with a powder. I feel like that's perfect. I mean, I can always apply some concealer on top of it. I feel like that's perfect. So I'm just gonna go in with my NYX HD powder to set it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder on my nose and on my forehead. Everywhere else, I'm still gonna use some cream product. So first, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick in the shade Ibiza, which is just quite a nice bronzy color. Now, I heard from someone that this is going out of um, sales, like out of production. I don't know if that's true or not, but that would be quite sad. This is quite a nice option if you just want something really quick. On the days when you're not wearing any makeup on top of it, you can just blend it out with your fingers. And it's just really natural. It layers well with products. And I really, really like it. As you can see, it blends in quite quickly as well doesn't take long really so it would be a shame next I'm gonna go in with my Becca Glow Silk Highlighter Drops in the shade Champagne Pop this is the new product that just launched and I already used this in my um, holiday haul first impressions video I'm gonna link below and up in the cards. Oh, look at that glow. Because wherever I go, there's always enough time for highlighting. Always. Oh, beautiful that is. Maybe just a tiny bit more just to use up what's already on the back of my hand. It comes with a little dropper. I'm gonna be glowy tonight, that's for sure. There, you might be able to see a bit more. Now I'm gonna move on to a cream blush, which is the Tom Ford Pink Sand. Sand or sand? Sand, just sand. Makes more sense, really. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit to both cheeks. just for a bit of a pinky flush. And before I move on to some powder products, I'm gonna set my face with the Bare Minerals Glow Powder that's in my project pan. Since it's a dewy powder, so I can make sure that my highlighter doesn't get matted down, but I can still securely apply powder products on top of this without it bunching up in just one spot. You can still see I'm still glowy. 
first I'm gonna set my brows in place with the Wet n Wild Mega Cleo Mascara just so it can dry while I finish the rest of my face and I already tried the Charlotte Tilbury mascara, um, well, brow mascara before. I had the clear version and I really, really liked that too. It had a lot smaller wand than this one, so it could be really precise with it. And I would kind of happily try the colored versions too. Um, I will see what I get tonight. Maybe that can be one of my purchases. I sort of have some bits in my mind. I really want to get the contour wand and also the pillow toque um, the pillow talk eyeshadow palette if they have it in stock because it just looks beautiful maybe the rose gold cream eyeshadow we'll see we'll see not too sure yet I don't have a full list in my mind just yet so we'll see and I'm gonna apply the same brown shade called It's Cashmere on my lower lash line. Just to have a bit more definition there. There we go, so you can see there's a bit of difference between the two sides. Actually maybe I can add a little bit more and just drop it down. Like so. To deepen my bronze, I'm gonna use the Filmstar Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury, really iconic. And as you can see, mine is fairly well used. I had this for quite a long time and I do like it. I mean, the highlighter I don't love as much as the bronzer, as you can see in the palette, but I think it's just because I have so many other highlighters that are a bit more intense. Um, that I just prefer those. This one gives a bit more of a natural kind of light and I think that's why I don't use it that often. I just gravitate towards something a bit stronger. I can also apply a tiny bit on the bridge of my nose and on my neck. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of blush, for that I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic um, blush and you need to apply it in the motion of swish and pop, so you use the outer colour first to swish and then the inner corner to just pop right on the cheeks. I like to go back with another brush and just really make sure I blend it together. Again, first you swish. And pop. Okay, now that I've got some colour on my cheeks, I'm going to go back to the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette and go for the highlighter this time. And while it's really pretty, I just feel like it's not bold enough, but well, we're going for a Charlotte Tilbury event today, so we're going to go with a Charlotte Glow, I guess. They also have another highlighter, they have a cream highlighter now and the gold bar which is, I think it might be quite in demand because sometimes you can get it and other times it's always sold out so that might be a question of luck if you can get it or not. Before I move on I'm gonna set my face with the Becca Glow Shield. For my brows, I'm gonna use the Illamasqua Brow Cake in the shade Thunder. 
which is in my multi facet palette and I'm just gonna lightly shape them and fill them in just like so nothing too much but it's still a bit better shaped than it was before now I'm gonna go back with the same highlighter because I forgot that before and apply it to my brow bone and the inner corners and it's definitely a lot softer than what I usually do with my Becca highlighters or the Mary Lou, those are all a lot more intense than this one for sure. Okay, I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm gonna go with my usual Too Faced Better Than Sex. Okay, all we have left is the lips. For that, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil in the iconic shade Pillow Talk first. This is almost the same shade as my lips, it's perfect. Because it's so close to my natural color, it makes it really easy to outline my lips just a little bit and cheat it, just like the name suggests. I can just cheat a little bit and overline them. Which I don't necessarily want to do in the bottom, but my top lips are a lot smaller, so I like to cheat there a little bit. And I only have one lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, which is... This is the Queen. It was a limited edition, but she brought it back. But it's a bit dark for what I want today, so I'm just gonna pat it on my lips. It's a beautiful pinky red. And also has a matte finish, which I don't really want. So I'm gonna use my fingers to pat it in. There we go, and I'm gonna lighten it up a bit with Mac Giddy. Sorry about that. Alexa, stop. This means I have ten minutes. This is Mac Giddy. It's such a pink colour, but no one talks about it. It's so cute though. There we go. That's my makeup done for the event. It's just quite fresh and glowy, but still, all together, it's more of like a, well, I would call it more like a girl next door kind of look rather than, you know, anything over the top, even though it took me about an hour. <laughs> but never mind. Let me know what you think and if you would recreate this look. And I will see you in my next video. If you liked it, please give it a like, consider subscribing, that would mean a lot to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye! Have a lovely day. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, she's called Alexa. <laughs> Oopsie.